the Miami Dolphins can win the Super Bowl, even as early as next year and here is how they may be able to do it. It's a reach but it is possible. Let's dream together. It's officially the offseason, where every team in the league has the same record. Expectations? Well that is a different story. I mean if the Cincinnati Bengals, a team that won a combined six games in the previous two seasons, can make it to the Super Bowl and be within one yard of potentially making a difference, then as my friend, Wyclef Jean used to say, anything can happen. Can the Miami Dolphins make an appearance in the next Super Bowl, why not? The past two seasons the Dolphins have been one game away from making the playoffs. Yes, there is a lot to be determined on both sides of the field, but for now, let's ride the expectation train. What is different this year? It all starts with the Miami Dolphins' new head coach, Mike McDaniel. Before he was even introduced as the next head coach, McDaniel did something that former coach Brian Flores failed to do in his three-year tenure, he gave Tua Tungavailoa confidence. McDaniel called Tua and presented him his plan, vision, and how they will work together to become great. Also, the Patriots' way is officially out in Miami. Enter a new era, not sure what to call it yet, but this type of change will be a breath of fresh air, especially to players that didn't feel that they could actually talk to or approach their coach. If there was a polar opposite of Brian Flores, it's pretty much Mike McDaniel. That will bode well for team morale and the excitement that could be shown on any given Sunday. Why the offense will take Miami to the promised land. McDaniel was hired for one reason, to bring the Dolphins' offense to the 21st century. Coach Flores went through 130 offensive coordinators, I know it's not the actual count, but it felt that way, during his tenure. Flores' mandate was hard to figure out, he brought in coordinators that actually never had the position before and was hoping that they would magically learn and develop into a prime coordinators. The only exception was Chan Gailey, but he was a different coordinator based on the quarterback that was on the field. Regardless, McDaniel, first take of his new coaching staff, already presents evidence that he can hire better than Flores. The Miami Dolphins will look to establish a run game. What? How crazy is that? Instead of passing to set up the run, the Dolphins will flip the script and establish the run to set up play action in the passing game. Add in the fact that the West Coast offense is back in Miami, with zone blocking recognition, somewhere Bill Walsh is smiling. One key thing that McDaniel will need to fix is the trenches. The Miami Dolphins offensive line contains one first rounder, two second rounders, one third rounder, for any other team that is their future, for Miami it is painful. McDaniel has hired Frank Smith, run game coordinator and offensive line coach for the Chargers, and then hired Matt Applebaum, offensive line coach from Boston College and ties to Shanahan coaching tree. What do both of these individuals have in common? They have actual coaching experience. What a concept. McDaniel, Smith and Applebaum will look to understand if there is talent already on the roster or if they need to look to spend in free agency. If the Dolphins need to spend in free agency, they have the ammunition to do so. As of right now, Miami has the most cap space in the entire NFL at approximately 76 million. If the Dolphins were to target Lakin Tomlinson, free agent guard from 49ers, and potentially draft Tyler Vrabel, Zion Johnson, or Alec Lindstrom, all Boston College prospect that could be available for Miami in the draft, their weakness would be a thing of the past. Now that protection is set, Tua, the Dolphins franchise quarterback, could potentially start looking like a franchise quarterback. Tua isn't a quarterback that will lead the Dolphins to the promised land by himself. Tua requires a system, similar to Jimmy Garoppolo, that can showcase his skill set and allow him to control the game. McDaniel evolution of his playbook will cater towards Tua and add in a running game that Miami hasn't seen since Ricky and Ronnie that is exciting. With the additions of his staff and the ammunition of rebuilding a line that could be 50% better, remember they were ranked last, in 2021, the offense could look to make a dramatic change, potentially a Super Bowl one. The way the Miami Dolphins have positioned themselves, they are also able to think about adding playmakers to the outside. The only downside is that they might have to overspend. Tua isn't a quarterback that will draw players into the Dolphins program. Look at the 49ers model, they drafted their top two wide receivers. Miami would be wise to move on from Albert Wilson and Alan Hearns and focus on adding a stretch player that can stay healthy to be paired with Devontae Parker. Christian Kirk and Michael Gallup are two players that the Miami Dolphins should hope to attract, as they possess the abilities to not only block downfield, but add an extra layer to McDaniel offense. And let's not forget, we haven't even mentioned Jalen Waddell continued emergence from his breakout rookie season. How McDaniel will employ his skill set will be something that will energize this team. Dolphin defense is already playoff ready. 
the best part of the Miami Dolphins these past two seasons is their defense. No one can take that away from this team, and the fact that McDaniels retained a large part of that staff will help with continuity. The Dolphins' primary objective this offseason should be to resign Emmanuel Ogba. This will show to the younger players that if you ball out, you will be rewarded from the team. Although McDaniel inherited Ogba, you can't replicate his presence on the field and within the locker room. The secondary is the strength of the defense. Every single player will be returning and a case can be made that this could be the best secondary in the NFL. Xavier Howard is a pro baller, Brian Jones was awesome this past year, and Javon Holland and Brandon Jones were the top two blitzing safeties in the league. But it all starts up front. The best secondary is the one that plays for the shortest amount of time. In the trenches, the Dolphins have Christian Wilkins and Raekwon Davis, two pillar tackles, pairing them with Ogba and former first-rounder Jalen Phillips that is enough to create some pressure on opposing quarterbacks. An area for upgrade has to the linebacker spot, as Jerome Baker and Andrew Van Ginkel are the only returning starters. The Dolphins would be wise to invest in the draft, as the free agency doesn't offer much upside. Hassan Reddick could be a player to monitor as he signed a one-year prove-it deal, that did not bode well for him. Given the opportunity in Miami Blitz heavy scheme, this could be a pairing that makes a lot of sense. Another name to keep on the radar is Anthony Barr from Minnesota. Barr was exceptional in his first few years, but injuries have started catching up to him. If Barr were to take an incentive-ridden contract, Miami has the flexibility to offer that. In the draft, if Miami didn't trade their own pick, they could have easily selected Devin Lloyd and then this conversation would never have happened. Unfortunately, Lloyd most likely will not make it to the end of the first round. Nonetheless, the Dolphins might look at one of my favorite linebacker in this draft class, Channing Tindall. This kid can fly and most likely is the best coverage linebacker in this draft class. That element of speed is crazy and you pair him with Baker and you have the ability to crash and expose. All teams across the league know the Dolphins' defense is legit. The Dolphins would just need to add a little more speed and resign their impact players. With all the coming together this defense is ready to once again carry the team. Dolphins are set up for success. If you take a moment on what Chris Greer has established, he has put the Miami Dolphins in a position to attack free agency and have draft capital, if required at his disposal. Yes, the best teams in this league build throughout the draft, which is why Miami has two first-round picks next in the 2023 NFL Draft. Should a player become available, Deshaun Watson, the Miami Dolphins have the ability to make such a move. Retrospectively, Greer has made some misses during his draft selection, just review the 2021 NFL selection, where the Miami Dolphins had three first-round picks and an argument could be made that the Dolphins selected all first-round bust, what would this team look like with Justin Herbert at 5, Justin Jefferson at 18 and Jonathan Taylor at 26. However Greer righted the ship in the 2022 draft selecting Jalen-Jalen combination that might have potentially saved him his job. With free agency, Greer has done a stellar job managing the cap. Once upon a time the Dolphins were leading the league in dead cap space, meaning players that were absorbing the Dolphins cap, but they were not playing for Miami. That type of reset was required to build a solid foundation. Greer implemented contract-friendly offers to the players that he targeted to allow for cap flexibility not just for today, but for future season as well. For what it's worth Chris Greer has shown that he can manage a cap, go and get the players the team needs and not mortgage the future to achieve that. All of this should entice Mike McDaniel working relationship with Greer, as McDaniel knows he has a partner that will collaborate and work with him. A balanced attack on both sides of the ball, rather than the defense carrying the Dolphins, is the tipping point for how this team might be able to make a serious run next year. Add in the, a front office that is aligned and has the ammunition with its draft capital and salary cap to allure players to come to South Beach, there is the potential to build something special in 2022. However, there are a lot of ifs surrounding the team, but with a full offseason and proper mentorship for their young prospects, Miami is a team on the rise. The question is, how far can they go?